So today's recipe is inspired by one of my favorite candies of all time, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. But if you're following the keto diet, Reese's are sort of off limits because they're filled with carbs and filled with sugar. And obviously you're trying to avoid those things if you're doing keto. So I wanna change that. I wanna make a keto friendly, low carb peanut butter cup recipe. And that's exactly what I did. And this recipe, only three ingredients, guys. It's so easy to do. They're super delicious, almost as delicious as the real Reese's are. I mean, real Reese's are really delicious, but this, it's definitely up there. So with that being said, let's get in this one and make some peanut butter cups. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is add about one cup or 150 grams of sugar-free chocolate chips to a medium-sized bowl. There's a bunch of different brands of no sugar chocolate chips. The one that I love to use is the Lily's No Sugar Added Chocolate Chips. What I love about these is that after you subtract the dietary fiber of four grams and the erythritol of three grams, these chocolate chips only have two net carbs per serving. So once you've got your chocolate chips in the bowl, the next thing you wanna add is some coconut oil. We'll be adding two and a half tablespoons of coconut oil to the bowl. And this is just gonna help melt the chocolate chips into sort of a pourable form. If you use water, it just doesn't work as well and the chocolate chips don't pour as well. So once we've got those two ingredients added to our bowl, we're gonna pop those into the microwave for just about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on the power of your microwave. If your chocolate chips don't melt right away, just pop them in for another 30 seconds. But then what we're gonna do is take out a spatula and mix our chocolate chips and coconut oil together until a thick chocolatey syrup starts to form in the bowl like this. When it does, you wanna get out some paper mini muffin liners, and I recommend doubling up the liners when you add them to your tray. The reason I like to do it is just because the peanut butter cups end up holding their shape a lot better if you use two of them instead of one of them. So once you've got those situated in your tray, you can start getting your chocolate inside of the paper liners. And if you're making 12 of these like I am, a half a tablespoon of the chocolate is the perfect amount for each paper liner. So at this point, we're gonna add these to the freezer and freeze them for 15 minutes just to let them solidify a little bit. So while those are setting in the freezer, we're gonna get out some peanut butter. I recommend using a natural, no sugar added peanut butter if you're trying to keep things as keto and low carb as possible. As you'll see here, the Smuckers only has peanuts and salt as ingredients, and it's a very low carb peanut butter. So 15 minutes later, we're gonna remove the tray from the freezer and we're gonna add a teaspoon of peanut butter to each peanut butter cup mold. Once we've added some peanut butter to each one of the molds, we're gonna to top the peanut butter with some more chocolate. And once again, we're gonna be using a half tablespoon of the chocolate sauce that we made from earlier to do this. So once we've topped each one of the cups with chocolate, we're gonna pop the tray back into the freezer for at least an hour. And an hour later, we're gonna have ourselves some delicious, keto-friendly, low-carb peanut butter cups like this. All right, so that's Seti's Peanut Butter Cup recipe. I hope you guys enjoy these. If you want the full written out recipe with the metric measurements and the macros, you can find that in the video description below. Also down there, you'll find links to all the products that I used to make the recipe today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next recipe.